I'm Eiko Maruko Sinawar from the History Department, also affiliated with the Asian Studies Department. Um, and I'll talk just a bit about how to balance teaching and research. Um, I think I have two basic strategies for trying to balance these two things. Um, the first is that I try to integrate my research interests into my teaching as much as I can. Um, and so I try to come up with new courses that are on the themes that I am currently researching. So for example, when I was writing my first book, when I was writing the book about organized crime, um, the book it has, is largely about the kind of intersection of organized crime and politics. So I put together a course on the comparative history of organized crime, which dealt with organized crime both in, in theory, kind of the theory of organized crime, as well as organized crime in different settings, Russia, US, Sicily, uh, as well as Japan. And that's because es essentially I wanted to do reading about theory on organized crime and mafias and to think about the Japanese case in a comparative context. So the course really helped me to do that. Um, and then winter study of next year, I've actually put together a new course on my current project, which is about the history of waste or conceptions of waste. So I'll be teaching a, a winter study course about waste, which is really an excuse to read a lot of interesting stuff that I want to read. Um, and that might actually be a platform for um, you know, a, a larger, a longer semester long course at some point. Um, and then in the spring of next year, I'm teaching a new course on the 1930s in Germany, Italy, and Japan. And this is actually the kind of next, next project. I've always wanted to do some research on the 1930s in Japan, and I haven't quite figured out how to do it yet um, and what, ex what approach I want to take. Um, and there's, there's great literature on the 1930s in Germany. Um, so this is a way for me to think about um, a project that's actually quite far down the line, but I want to think about ideas for how this project might take shape. Um, so that's the first strategy, kind of integrating the teaching um, and the research. Um, the second strategy is a little bit more mundane, um, and it has to do with scheduling and scheduling my week. And what I try to do is to make one day a week um, every semester my sacred day for research, um, where I try not to meet with students or not do any grading, um, not have any committee meetings if I can help it. Um, and that's just the day that I, I work on research. Um, this doesn't always work. There are scheduling things that are beyond my control. Um, and there are certain times of the semester where it's just not, not possible to do when the papers are, are piling up on my desk. But I, I try to be faithful to the idea and I, I'm relatively successful at it for most of the semester. Um, and then on top of that one sacred day a, a week, I also try to spend a good chunk of winter study if I'm not teaching winter study on my research. And then the bulk of the summer also on my research is really when I get the most done um, on my scholarly work. And that's all I have to offer.